How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we are replacing the thermal paste on the SST UF Gaming F15 2024 Intel Core i series. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 10 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop upside down. Using a PH1 screwdriver, remove the 12 screws from the bottom cover. There are two long screws in the middle at the top, one short screw in the bottom left corner, one captive screws in the bottom right corner, and the rest are medium-sized screws. Remove them in order. Loosen the captive screws. It's recommended to use a magnetic mat to avoid confusion or loss of screws. Prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Insert the triangular pry tool into the top of the chassis. Once inserted, gently move the pry tool up and down along the edges to open the bottom cover more easily. After opening the bottom cover, use the spudger to remove the power cable. Push the metal clip above the connector upwards. Use the spudger to push both sides of the connector out to remove it. After removing the power, remember to press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use the spudger to remove the power cables of both cooling fans. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the four screws from both cooling fans, three on the left fan, one on the right fan. Remove the screen cable from the bottom right corner. Following the numerical order, remove the eight screws securing the cooling module. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Slowly lift both sides of the heatsink using both hands, and it should come off smoothly. Remove the last screw from the right fan and take it out. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Use the anti-static brush to clean the fan blades and the cooling module.
When using compressed air, remember to keep a short distance to avoid liquid spray. Compressed air helps to clean the finer details and greatly improves dust removal efficiency. After the cleaning work is done, don't forget to clean the dust on the back panel. Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, reassemble everything in reverse order. Reinstall the fans back into the cooling module. Tighten the screws on both sides of the cooling fans. Note, do not reinstall the upper left screw on the left fan for now. Gently place the cooling module back in. Tighten the cooling module screws in numerical order to about 70%. Once all screws are in place, tighten them to avoid excessive force. Then, reinstall the upper left screw on the left fan. Reconnect the screen cable. Reconnect the fan cables. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard. Press the power button to test the laptop. If it works normally, close the bottom cover, latch the clips, and screw all the screws back in. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.